Okay, how to dial in a Subaru variable cam wheel. So this one's already dialed in, but I'll, we can still go through the motions here. You can see I've got my wheel here all set up. Top dead center's been set. Got the dial gauge here sitting just on the bucket there. And we're gonna be dialing in this intake cam. You can see I've got my spec sheet here. And what we're looking for is one millimeter after the intake valve opens and also one millimeter before the intake valve closes. We've got three degrees before top dead center and 43 degrees after bottom dead center. So this is just about to open. And if I can show you the gauge here as I turn the motor, it is zeroed, it doesn't have to be zeroed. It's more about one millimeter after the valve is opened. So now you can see here, the valve is starting to open. We want to make this back to zero here. So that's one millimeter open. Come to the wheel here. We can see here we are three degrees before top dead center. Bang on, three degrees before top dead center. Keep on cranking. What we want to see is one millimeter before the valve closes now. I can see that if I come up on the wheel, I'm just about to see bottom dead center. All right, and I'm gonna keep on cranking until I see 43, and it's a bit hard with one hand. I keep on tapping. You can see here I'm on 43, just before. You can see here, I keep on going. That's on 43. It's a bit hard to show on the camera. You can see here, and what should happen if I keep on turning? I'll make one more revolution and then stop. That's it, that's how I know it's one millimeter before the valve is totally closed. So, confirming this cam is now dialed in. Repeat for the other three remaining. Obviously you get a different spec for the two exhaust wheels, but uh, that's about it.